Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review and today we're taking a look at the brand new Playmobil Back to the Future. Uh, they don't really have a name for this set. I'm just going to call it the Toyota pickup set because essentially that is what it is. Uh, obviously this is from Back to the Future. Once Marty finally came back his whole future was changed. He has the 4x4. Biff is now cleaning his vehicle and he's about to go off to sleep over uh, or the camping trip whatever they were going to do with uh, his girlfriend Jennifer. Uh, so this is really really cool. Well, obviously last year we took a look at the Playmobil DeLorean and I am so excited more so than having the DeLorean because I have so many different versions of the DeLorean. I am very excited for this Toyota pickup because people don't really make the Toyota pickup for some reason and it's one of the most underappreciated cars in the movie mainly because it only shows up for a few minutes but anyways let's go ahead and take a closer look at the packaging so the packaging is very nice obviously you can see uh, the Playmobil version of the 4x4 Toyota pickup as well as all the characters right here in front of like the Playmobil version of the actual house which is really really cool I really love this packaging uh, and then coming to the top you can just see that same image right there back to the future universal copyright stuff uh, and then over here you just get an image of the figures themselves without the actual background uh, and then come into the back you can see some of the other sets. Like I said, we did take a look at the DeLorean. I haven't picked up any of the other sets. I really only care about the vehicles, but maybe I'll pick up the figure sets somewhere down the line. Uh, what's really nice is you can see right here, like the clock tower and everything, as well as the dates from the DeLorean when they go back in time and everything like that. And then you can see this does include a collector's postcard, which is interesting because I don't believe the DeLorean did. So I'm very excited about that. And then you can see some of the action features with this one, which is that the hood and the uh, tailgate can open. So that's really nice. And then that is it as far as the package goes uh, so let's go ahead uh, and get this out of the packaging I'm gonna build this off camera it should only be a few pieces to snap into place and then we'll take a closer look at the back to the future Playmobil Toyota pickup. all right you guys and here is the back to the future Toyota pickup Playmobil set out of the packaging so let's go ahead and start with uh, the little postcard that you get that's included so it's nothing special but it is just uh, a recreation of the original back to the future movie poster done in Playmobil form so that's really nice I think it's a really really nice touch I wonder I don't think this is the Playmobil version of the DeLorean, but that would have been like going the extra mile if they did do that. But either way, this is really cool. And on the reverse side, it's just your standard typical little postcard. Uh, again, not anything too crazy, but it is nice that they included it. It's just a nice little collector's piece to have. But moving on, we'll go ahead and take a look at the figures that you get included first. So we'll just go from left to right and we'll go ahead and start with Biff right here. So we'll bring Biff in and we'll also just adjust my lighting ever so slightly just to give us a little bit of a better there look at Biff. So here yeah. is Biff right here. So um, I I don't know. I don't really like look at this and immediately think this is Biff. To me, it kind of looks just like a generic character if it was just by itself. Um, but overall, it still looks really, really nice. You got the green tracksuit right here with like the little red undershirt. And then it's actually really creative how they have him holding this rag right here. So the rag is just like your standard typical rag, but then the end of it is like that Playmobil style so that he can just go ahead and clip it onto his hand right here. So just like so. So that's actually very creative and I really like how they were able to pull that off. And then the spray bottle, uh, that's a lot simpler, but that the neck of the spray bottle is the Playmobil style of connection. But then overall looking at the rest of the figure, looks pretty nice. It's got a little like copyright stuff right there on the back, but yeah, overall it's, it's a decent looking figure. Putting him to the side, we'll go ahead and take a look, of course, at none other than Marty. Here's Marty right here, looking very nice. So this is essentially the same exact figure that we got from the DeLorean set. He's just missing the jacket, but everything else seems to be pretty much exactly the same and identical. Uh, but you do have his watch right here and the outfit. So that is pretty nice. Now he doesn't come holding any accessories or anything like that. Just for the quick comparison, here is the DeLorean version I was just talking about. So it's pretty much the exact same figure from what I can see. Um, just missing obviously the red life vest, but everything else is exactly the same head sculpt and everything like that So go ahead and put that to the side and we'll put Marty down and of course take a look at Jennifer So here is Jennifer and she looks very nice and again It's very creative how they were able to pull off the whole like holding the accessory situation So they put the little handle right here on the purse But then made this loop long enough to where it looks like uh, just the way she's holding it that it is resting on her shoulder So that's very nice and very creative and I was actually really impressed when I saw that uh, so moving on to the rest of the outfit, it looks very nice, but you can see all the little details right here. Now, I think out of all the characters here, uh, this one probably looks the most like her movie counterpart, just in my opinion. I don't know if it's just the outfit or what, or what the case is, but uh, I'm a very, very big fan of that. Not a big fan of like these little red blushing cheek marks right here, but other than that, it is pretty nice. 
but obviously the main star of the show is going to be this Toyota pickup right here. So we'll go ahead, put the figures to the side, and take a closer look at the pickup. So assembly was very simple, took me just a few minutes. All you have to do really is just plug the wheels into the tires and then stick it to um, the actual car right here. It is pretty basic, pretty simple, and then you do have to attach a few stickers, which mine are a little lopsided. You will see like right here didn't come out too well. This was actually really difficult to put on just because it's such a small sticker and such a small little area with this crash bar here. But uh, overall, it looks okay. It's one of those things where like if I don't point it out, you probably won't even really notice it that much, hopefully. Uh, but then some other pieces you do have to clip in or like the uh, lights up here as well as like the crash bar or the roll bar back here. But we'll just take a quick little 360 look at everything right here. So one thing that I noticed right off the bat that is very odd, it, it's one thing to not have the doors open, which they don't, but they don't even have like any sort of like design or cutout for the door to even make it look like there's a door here. So that's like the most off-putting thing to me. It just looks very strange and very plain uh, that there's no like just door outline or anything there. That's the biggest gripe for me as far as the set goes. But the rest of it looks really, really nice. So we'll take a look at the front right here. Obviously, uh, you have the nice crash bar with all the stickers and everything here and the license plate that says McFly 85 and then taking a look at the tires. They're really nice, really big and really beefy. And what I really like about Playmobil is that they have the tire sizes right here. You can see it's 46 by 22 by one, which is like real life tire sizes, but like in the Playmobil world. So that's really cool that they have like the size of the this item right here printed on the tire. I think that's really cool. And then it says Playmobil on this side right here. And obviously it's going to be the same going through there. Now the inside of the vehicle is pretty plain, pretty generic. As you can see, it's all just done in gray. And it's kind of hard to get a closer look since the doors don't open. But we'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit and see if we can get that in there. So there is some stuff sculpted in there, but it's not like insanely detailed or anything like that. The steering wheel does have like a cutout at the top of it. And you can see right there that it does rotate left and right. And then coming to the truck bed right here, uh, this is pretty interesting. I didn't notice this before, but there are some sort of openings here. Um, as if there was like, you know, like a cab that you would put on top of here. Uh, so I don't know if they've repurposed this vehicle or reused it from something else that did have that feature. But there are some openings there. I'm not really sure what they're for. But again, you do have the roll bar, the crash bar right here. Along with the lights that are mounted on the top. If we can focus, there we go. So you have that right there, and then the truck of the bed is just pretty plain. And then on the back right here, uh, you have this sticker that says Playmobil. Now, typically, it, sh it should say Toyota, but it says Playmobil. I'm assuming they didn't get the rights to the Toyota branding, so they put their branding instead. But that's a really nice little detail. And then you have the license plate back here, along with the little like towing uh, hitch right here, which uh, does kind of rotate left and right. I wonder, it looks like you might be able to attach it to some other vehicles that have the uh, attachment for it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. The vehicle is pretty basic. It is done in all black, but still really, really nice to have and really iconic. I mean, you look at this and you know that that's obviously the Back to the Future Toyota pickup. So that's really nice. It does look a little on the short end, though. It almost looks like a Ford Bronco. Maybe it's just me, uh, but the body looks a little bit off, but... At the end of the day, it is just nit nitpicking overall. It's still a really, really nice vehicle. So let's go ahead and do a quick comparison. So we'll go ahead and bring in the Playmobil DeLorean. So actually, before we do that comparison, there are a few features that I did forget to mention. So you do have this nice little hood scoop right here. And then as you open it, if we can go ahead and prop that open, you can actually see the engine on the inside. So it's kind of hard, obviously, since it doesn't open all that much. But I'll we'll see how much I can zoom in. There's not much light going into it, so I'll see if I can bring my light just a little bit closer this is going to be very difficult there we go so you can kind of see the inside of the engine a little bit not all too well but it is really nice that that does open and then the other feature that it has as we try and do this all without breaking anything and we'll go ahead and zoom out for this one uh, is that the tailgate does go up and down so nothing crazy on that one no specific reason for it but it is there so I guess better to have it than to not so now let's go ahead and get into the comparison with the DeLorean. Alright you guys so here is the Playmobil DeLorean along with the Toyota pickup and they look really good next to each other obviously the DeLorean looks a little bit lower to the ground because I have it in the hover mode that's the way that I like to display it. Now I will say I think both of these sets ran around the same I think they both cost around $50 I know for sure this one did I don't remember what this one cost I believe it was $50 and I will say that 
I don't feel like this set should have been the same price as this set because this set had lights and electronics and sounds, I believe, that went with it. My batteries are dead on this because I haven't used it since I did my review about a year ago. Uh, but this had lights and electronics and all that where this one didn't. So uh, I, I feel this definitely should have been priced just a little bit cheaper since you don't get any electronics or lights or LEDs or anything like that. You just get the car with the figures. Uh, and this one, you got the car with the electronics and everything and three figures as well. So I definitely don't think they should have been priced the same. All right, you guys, and just to display how you actually get the the figures on the inside uh you do have that little cut right here the opening for the steering wheel so you're going to actually rotate that in the downward position that way that hole is open on the bottom right there so that you can stick the uh minifigures legs through there so you're just going to have to kind of finagle it a little bit until you are able to get it through and then there we go so i have him sitting and here, I'll see if I can get his arms up. There we go, we got one arm. I know this is a little difficult to see. This is very difficult to do on camera. All right, sit down, there we go. Okay, so that's how he looks inside of the vehicle, which looks very, very nice. And then of course, you can get Jennifer in the passenger seat. She probably is gonna have to take her purse off. So we'll go ahead and pull that off, just so she can properly fit. But there we go, and we have her purse in the back now. So there we go, and now they are finally off to, um, I still can't remember if it was camping or they were going out to the lake or whatever the case is. But there you go, and then we'll go ahead and get Biff in here to just do a last minute little touch up right, uh, where are we going to do it? Let's see, yeah, right there, there we go. Alright, so we'll get that in frame. We'll have Biff spraying and washing it is a little hard because the car is so tall but yeah there we go so you can see how that looks they look really really nice especially sitting in here i love how it's all open and you can really see the figures in there that's a really nice feature all right, right you guys so there's my review of the brand new playmobil back to the future toyota pickup again i don't know the official set name for this if i do i'll leave it in the if i can find it i'll leave it in the title of this video but i'm just calling it the toyota pickup uh playset so overall i am very excited to have this in the collection there are not many toyota pickups uh from back to the future made in any form it's always the delorean and i have literally like five six seven different versions of the delorean i'm kind of delorean out at the moment but I, when i saw the pickup i definitely knew that i had to have it now honestly as excited as i am to have it i definitely don't think that it should have been priced anywhere near around the same price as the delorean it should have been maybe ten dollars maybe fifteen dollars cheaper just because this doesn't have any electronics lights leds any sounds in it like the delorean had so that's the only downside to this is i feel it's a little bit overpriced for what you get but other than that that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that link's in the description down below and check out some of my other back to the future videos that are popping up on the screen for you to click on in any second i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time